I've been working with React functional components, uh, as you can see in this in this folder I've got here, and I was just getting quite tired with consistency with which I needed to create uh, the the component structure, and it's the same thing again and again. So if you've done similar to me in the past, there are extensions that do this for you. So if I pull this out, yep, yeah, got one of these. That's great, and I'll show you. That will give me something like this which was good for me I need to export it fantastic so what it does it takes the word staff that's in the file name puts that there puts it inside and puts it there so it exports quicker now if I save this because I've also got something else on that will more neatly tidy that up so having the colons on semicolon sorry that, that that's good uh, so it doesn't do that out of the box but I get this I don't need the import because it goes into a larger uh, file structure so that's already dealt with so I have to delete it every time and then this is a personal thing but I've found it very useful to be able to to put in what the file structure is for if I'm trying to share this with somebody else the communication of what, what I'm up to so I have to do that manually and it's the same kind of structure every time so it's quite annoying to be honest so here come your own custom snippets now I've done some of these myself in the past uh, so you can go here to configure user snippets. Uh, these are the ones I've been doing. I'm doing. I had to do this in both because uh, as much as I'm working with TypeScript right now, same setup with JavaScript. Um, and you can see that I've made this one. So before we go into that, this um, this information you've got here, that's there already. And I've done similar myself. I've done print to console. You type the word log, it's where prefixes, and it would write this out for you um so very very handy okay so uh you can find out a little bit more about these yourself but really really useful now this is what i've done so i've got now i've got this functional component uh set up down here how i would like it and you can just about make out here some of the setups i've got the relative file path i've, I've looked these up by the way and i'll include those uh links to that in in the description and so now I've got that, you'll see it was actually the first hit, this first one here. Now, when I include that, you can see that it actually puts in the path for me. It has staff, it doesn't have the import. Now it didn't, it also didn't write staff in there, but notice the cursor went straight there. Because what I find quite often is that I don't want to write the name of the thing there. I actually not always but quite often know what I want to start writing in there so I that's why I, I've got this one that's the first place it go and for record if you put dollar one somewhere else that would be the second tab that it would go to um, so hopefully that's useful to you and it will make your life a bit easier you might find that you want to do something similar but really specific to yourself so uh, yeah oh again the link will be uh, in the description to explain where I got this information here from uh, and you'll be able to make your own. Bye.